Hi everyone, my name is Addy and I'm a design developer with Hacking STEM. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to set up the hand kit that you've uh, received in the mail. Uh, you're going to get something that either looks like this case or maybe it looks a little bit different, but all the parts are going to be the same. Um, so right here, this is your glove. You have uh, three connector wires, but you'll only use two of them. One of them is a spare in case there's a problem. A USB cable. Here you have the hand. This is the rod. And this is the base. I'm gonna get this box out of the way. And we'll set this up. So in the base, you'll see there's a drilled hole. So you'll take the rod and you'll put that right into this hole. On the hand, you'll have a matching hole and you'll place the hand on the rod. Then you'll take one of your connector cables and plug it into the hand right back here in the connector. It'll only fit one way, there's a little clip on it. And then take the other end of this cable and plug it into the hand. Jack on the base. Uh, if one of if one of your cables is a little bit longer, it'll be good to use that one for the glove, and you can plug that in to the glove plug on the base. And then you can take your glove out of the bag and plug it in to the connector. And then I'll get this cable and bag out of the way. So now your hand is ready to use, and you can use it with or without a computer um, to test. And you'll take this extension cord right here and just plug it into an outlet. Uh, it's pretty normal for the hand to move like this, right? When you plug it in, uh, there's a calibration built into the code that doesn't happen until you put the glove on and make a fist and let go. And you can see that one of the, the fingers is actually reversed. So the way to fix that is you'll take your glove off. There's a, a power switch right here on the base. You can turn that off and that'll disconnect the electricity to the servo motors. And what you want to do is you want to take the servo and turn it all the way uh, clockwise remove the arm, it'll just come right off, it's press fit on there, and then reattach it. Uh, and you, you could do that on, on all of them if, if any of them are not uh, set right. And you'll turn it back on, and now you'll see that when I use my, my index finger, it's moving the same way. Next, I'll show you how to connect this to the computer and start streaming data into Excel. So take your USB cable. This is just uh, a standard A to B type, just like uh, your, your printer cable. Um, and you'll plug it into the Arduino uh, right over here. It might be a little bit tricky. It's crowded with wires, but you'll be able to just plug it in. It'll stay right there. Uh, and then you take the other end of it and you plug it into any USB outlet on a computer. Now in Excel, uh, go to the data streamer tab at the top. Go to connect device, select the Arduino and then you may have to go back and click start streaming data right up here. Uh, and there's also a visual guide on how to get data streamer up and running on your computer. Um, finally, if there's any, any unexpected issues, uh, you should always check to make sure that your Arduino has the power plugged in here. Um, and, and if you still have an issue, try using the white reset button right on the Arduino. Thank you, and I hope you have a great time with our robotic hand.